Hello everyone, this is Miss Beth and we are going to go through everything that is in the craft bag for July. So here is the main cover. You have the instructions for the pig corner bookmark with all the instructions on the back and the instructions for the farm animal finger puppets with the instructions on the back. This time through all you will need is glue, a scissors, and something to color with. Everything else should not be trouble. We are also going to have one of these bookmarks that will be in there for you. And with these bookmarks, because they're long like this, you can even do this. Look at that. I folded it. And then you go short piggy, long piggy, short piggy, long piggy. And you could even write things, secret messages. So I thought that was fun. So that's what you got for a bookmark this time. Let's go through the pig, shall we? What you're going to have is this pink piece of paper with the nose and the ears and that line tells you where to cut to make a square. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is cut on that line to make yourself a square. And then you will cut out the nose, the snout. And the ears, and it does not have to be perfect. These ears are your ears. Now, you'll notice that I put, I printed these out onto the pink paper so that they're kind of a darker pink. If you wanted to add some more pink to these, you are welcome to do that with your colors. You don't have to do any other things with those though if you decide you like them just the way they are which i did i liked them just the way they were all right and you take your pink piece of paper and you fold it corner to corner like that to make this and then you fold it like this and like this Okay, and then you fold this one down. All right, so one, two, three, and this one down. So that's going to be the face of your pink pig. Now, if you have a staple in one of your corners, make sure it's not the one. Well, actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the staple's going to be hidden. The staple spot's going to be hidden on there. So, here we go. Now, this is the hard part. You have to take this corner here and tuck it right into this little pocket right here. Tuck, 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 tuck. There we go. See? Tucked down into the pocket there. And then do the same thing with this one. And then you know what? It's done. I made the chin kind of curvy like that, which is why you wouldn't have to worry about it if there was a, a staple mark there, because you could just trim that right off. And then I took my glue and I put a little bit of glue right on here. And the nose goes like this. That's the way the nose goes, like that. Pretty sure, is it? Maybe, maybe this. Yes, I think, like that. Because he's got the little bumps on the top and it's rounded toward the bottom. So there, and then an ear. An ear up here. pointy part goes out, 
because that's the tip of the ear. And there, and there's the ears. And then you take this, you make a little smile. And little bitty eyes. He's got pretty purple eyeballs. Look at that. Little tiny eyes on pigs. Just like that. And that's all you have to do. Then, when you want, you can slide it onto the corner of your book and it makes a really pretty bookmark. Easy peasy. All right. And this is what the sample looked like. Ooh. Just that same way. All right, then we were going to do this other one, the farm animal finger puppets. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to color in your puppets because you want to do this. I think you want to have the puppets colored first. It's easier if you color them first. So I'm going to color in the chicken because he's mostly white. But you'll see later when I colored in all of them and what that looked like. All right, and then a yellow beak. There. Good enough. Good enough. Then I'm going to cut him out. And be careful not to cut him off of his little rectangle here because that is what you're going to put around your finger because it's a finger puppet. All right, so very careful not to tear it off of its little rectangle here. That's really the hardest part, is making sure that you don't have it tangled. And then you cut around. You know what? Do that. Makes your life easier. There we go. Around, 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 around. And take your time. Taking your time makes it easier to do, especially if you are not a seasoned cutter of paper. All right, there we go. So then we have him. Now we want to put him around the finger. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this right around your finger. And because I have I have pretty big grown-up fingers. Mine is going to be careful. All right. Sometimes this is easier to do if you have more than one person doing the folding around because it can get hard to do it all by yourself. And then that has to dry for a minute. And then that's done. That's how hard it is. Oh my goodness, I would not give it to you if it was really, really hard to do. So these are the ones that I did before. Whoa, look at all these. We have them on a display. There are nine animals, 10 fingers, so you'll have one extra. But don't worry about that. You just need one extra to turn pages. So that is how you do the craft for July. I hope you have a good time. Bye-bye.